It's number one food, one of the oldest and certainly the most symbolic. Whether it's a bun, a sandwich or a loaf, bread cannot be missing on everyday table and making it at home is a great little gesture of love. Today we will tell you how to make it. Bread dough, let's get started. I'll start preparing the dough. The first thing to do is to crumble and dissolve the fresh yeast in the water. Now let's pour the Manitoba and the 00 flour, multi-purpose flour, in a bowl. And I'll also add one teaspoon of malt, which is a natural bread enhancer. Now I can begin to add the water with the yeast in the flour. I'll add half of it first and begin to knead. Then I'll add salt to the mixture and I knead again. And I go on adding the rest of the water little by little. Once the last bit of water has been added, I'll continue working the dough until it's fully kneaded. It will take about 10 minutes. Now that the dough is fully kneaded, I'll rest it for about 10 minutes before moving on to the next step. The dough has rested. I'll use a scraper to transfer it to the worst surface that I have already lightly floured and here I can start folding it. I gently spread the dough and then bring it back to the center like this and then again and again. I'll turn it over. I'm gonna pirlare which means I'll round it. And I place it into a bowl that I have already lightly floured. I'll cover it with plastic wrap and let it rise for about two hours or in any case until doubled. The ideal conditions for leavening are a fairly high and consistent temperature. So in the summer, it's fine to keep it out simply on the workbench. In winter instead, you should put it in the oven, turned off with the light on. Here is my dough after two hours of rising. As you can see, it has doubled. I can remove the plastic. Sprinkle some flour on the work surface and repeat the same actions. I'll transfer the dough with a scraper. And spread it gently. And then start folding it again. I turn it over and round it again. I'll place the dough on a baking pan that I have already floured. I'll cover it with a damp cloth and let it rise for about an hour. My dough has risen again. Here it is. I have already set the oven at 250 degrees. Now it's time to score it with a cutter for some decorative cuts. And now my loaf is ready to go in the oven. I need to lower the temperature to 230 degrees and place a bowl with hot water on the bottom. And I can bake my bread. It will cook.
cook like this for the first 20 minutes and then I will lower the temperature to 180 degrees, remove the bowl and continue cooking for another 35 minutes but simulating an open valve. I'll show you how. I'll insert a cloth like this in this corner. This way the oven will stay open, the bread will lose moisture and it will be drier. And here is my loaf, fragrant, perfumed, and listen to the sound it makes. Buon appetit!